there. Amy here from Amy's Creations and I am doing, I'm waiting for my fall <laughs> lineup stuff, my fragrances to get here. It's in the post and it's a little slower to this month because of our numbers being up again with COVID. So I'm going to take it as that, but I'm going to end up getting stocked up again on my lemon and lavender. You can see a little bit of sparkle to that, actually to both of them really. Um, this one is Virtuous Violet. This one is Bonnie Buttercup. And I just have them dispersed in with some of my oils before I dispersed them with my Kaolin Clay, which is already in my oils here. So I'm gonna split them off into two different, um, two different bowls, leaving some white and my plan because I'm going to be using a lemon and I'm going to be using my lavender uh, essential oils and I'm going to be pouring the white in as the, as the plan and then oh my flash went off oops um, so pouring in my white and then I will be pouring dropping in my yellow and my purple so Let's get to mixing that and yeah. want to get just past the notification. I want a white trace to work with. of these and keep some for the whites just a little bit for each one so I can mostly have a white Okay, I don't know where it cut off, but I am going to mix these up quickly. They're all still pretty fluid. Which is great.
Oh, it doesn't accelerate. I know this one. So, because how fluid my white soil is. And I'm kind of glad for that too, so. But I know with essential oils that sometimes it quickens. So I'm going to get in here with my white and get that layer poured in. And sorry about the light and the shadowing and everything else and zooming in and out. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to pour I hope that this was going to end up firming a little bit more, but let's see what it looks like when I pour it in. I'll do a test line. It doesn't take that much for lavender because it is very strong already. So a powering essential oil. So let me make sure that that's really blended in there. Okay, I'm So you can see like a little purple swirl there. And I actually quite like that, but it looks like it's going to be a while before it firms up a bit. So I'm just going to let this sit and then I'll be back to drop the rest of the color in or on, whichever, uh, depending on how long it takes to thicken up. Because they're both still quite fluid, so. So I'll be back. Love it. So yeah, that is my lemon and lavender. I was gonna put my embeds on there, but I decided not to. I will next time, but I decided not to this time. So that is it for today. I will be back tomorrow. Stay tuned to do the unmolding and the cutting so don't go away i'll be right back all right we are in the back the next day and this is the lemon lavender soap it came out of the mold really nice nice and smooth and i love 
love, love, love the top. Of course, I covered it so you can see little lines on it from when it's stuck. Now it started to, to solidify eventually and then I put cling film on it and then it started doing that. So it was my bad of doing that, but you know, if you look past the little lines, whatever, you could still see the details of the, the purple and the yellow mica. So I am just going to get right into this and get these sliced up so they can cure. And you'll probably hear my kids in the background. Oh my gosh, look at that swirl. That is so pretty. Oh, I love that. And then there's like a little bit of a shimmer from the Bonnie Buttercup mica. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it is so pretty. I'm loving that swirl. All right. Let's see what the rest of them look like. I know every bar looks different anyways, but um, let's see what these ones say. Yeah, you'll probably hear my daughter. She's not in the best of moods today. She just wants to be held and played with. Oh my gosh, I love these swirls. It is so pretty and it smells so good. It's refreshing with the lemon and then calming with the lavender. Realize that the camera light just went off. That's all right. You can still see the colors. So yeah, if you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to see the rest of the videos. And yeah, don't forget to follow on Instagram. That is where I post a lot of things, um, giveaways, uh, I post the deals and stuff like that that are going on, on the website. So yeah. That is them. So until next time, when I start doing my fall ones, I will be back and hopefully catch you then. Leave a comment below on what you think of this one. So pretty. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.